This week's first person is the Republican nominee for Attorney General Ted Kittela. Great having you here, Ted. Well, thanks for having me, Shirley. It's good to be here. You're a practicing trial lawyer in Wilmington. Yes, I am. Why did you decide to run for Attorney General? Well, I did it because I really wanted people to have a choice on November 4th. Uh, I, I come from Delaware. I actually grew up in Seaford. Uh, my mom is still down there. Uh, my children are up here in uh, Newcastle County with my mm -hmm. wife. And this year alone, uh, at my children's school, uh, there was three times that I was contacted about a, a sexual predator working in the school. Uh, to me, this is a serious issue, and I really want to return the Office of Attorney General back to basics. Uh, we really have got to tackle some of these crime problems that we're seeing. So I, I wanted people to have a choice on, on November 4th, and I wanted them to choose a courtroom attorney like myself. Now, Attorney General Bo Biden has made protecting children from sexual predators his theme. Do you feel like under his leadership, the office has not gone far enough? I think it needs to continue. I think that's the goal for me is we need to continue. It's 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 being ever vigilant mm -hmm. and fighting this problem means that we need to sort of continue on with that mission. So my goal is to keep pressing on with this. And uh, I applaud the fact that he called this to the state's attention, but you can see that it, we just got to keep moving forward. Now, Democrats outnumber Republicans by almost two to one. So to win, you are going to need to garner some crossover support. Sure. Do you have a strategy of how you're going to try to do that? Well, absolutely. I think that as far as it goes, you know, I, I believe in the citizens of Delaware. I think when they look at the fact that the one party rule in this state has gotten some of the results that they have right now, I think a lot of people are very smart about how they're going to vote this time around. Mm -hmm. Uh, since 2009, we've seen an increase in crime rate in the city of Wilmington. And that, to me, is unacceptable. I mean, we've had 21 homicides this year in the city of Wilmington. That's 21 too many. Mm -hmm. We have a heroin problem that goes up and down the state from, from the town I grew up in, Seaford, all the way up to Wilmington. So these are issues that are very real to the voters. And I have talked with a lot of people throughout the uh, summer and coming into the fall now. Uh, they're very aware that uh, I'm going to need some help from the other side. I'm going to also need some help from independents. Uh, but the, the message is getting out. One party rule is not working and people, people have woken up to that. What are your thoughts on Wilmington Mayor Dennis Williams initiative towards community policing? I think it's a great idea. Um, actually, I want to continue that. I, I really want to see police officers getting out of squad cars. I want them to develop a relationship with the people that they're policing. Uh, when people have trust in the police officers, when they have uh, faith that what if they report something that they're they're, they're not going to be uh, a, a target for retaliation mm -hmm. when they feel that they're protected I think people are going to come forward and it will help to bring about some of the arrests that we need to, uh, to to get the city back on track now in a recent GOP weekly message you had talked about and these were your words Delaware's crisis of crime yes. and and you mentioned that the people of Delaware needed to have the AG's office um, with an AG's office with a priority of putting criminals in jail. How do you specifically intend to make the state safer and, and put more bad guys in jail? Well, I, I think when you look at what happens with respect to uh, prosecution and plea bargaining, I think one of the issues that people have raised a concern with is, number one, making sure that uh, people that are uh, uh, violent criminals don't get back out on the street mm -hmm. uh, right away. I've supported a constitutional amendment to allow judges more discretion in doing that. Uh, I think also as well that when you have a gun offense, if it's a person prohibited from carrying a firearm and it's in a situation where they're, they're picked up, we cannot plea bargain those away. We need to send a strong signal that if you're going to commit a crime with a firearm, you're going to go away and mm -hmm. it's going to be a mandatory. Um, so that's one of the clearest ways to send a signal uh, that I'm serious about this. Uh, we have to also be, a, uh, you know, willing to lose a few cases as well in, in the AG's office. Sometimes losing those cases is, 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 is sending a message as well, you know, on, on what we need to do better as far as policing efforts go. In that same weekly message, you said that the state needs an attorney general who's also not looking for the next photo op. Were you talking about Bo Biden or, or your Democratic opponent? I'm talking end? about my Democratic opponent. Um, I, I applaud Bo for what he's done. I, I think it was a noble thing to step down right now. Um, he's a family man and a veteran, um, and uh, uh, we're going to miss him um, as he takes the next two years off. But with Mr. Den, Mr. Den has, has, is really using this office, I think, for the uh, waiting room 
for the governor's office. That to me is completely unacceptable. This office requires leadership right now. And if we do not get a leader in this office to take control and, and to push forward, I, I think we're gonna see a repeat of what's happened over the last uh, eight years. And I, it just cannot continue. You need somebody that's willing to put their head, you know, stick their, stick their neck out and, uh, and, and, and be willing to, to, to call into question bad policies. So to reiterate, Den's heart's not really into it in your opinion, that, that it is sort of just a move in political gamesmanship? I, I, I wouldn't go that far. I think he does want to serve the state of Delaware. But my, my challenge to Mr. Den is serve the state as lieutenant governor. You were elected for a four-year term finish that term up there. You can do a lot of good in that position. And I, I've challenged him in the sense that, honestly, that's the best way to fight crime throughout the state, is to bring jobs back to the city of Wilmington and across the state of Delaware. Uh, if he were to do that, if he were to do that in his role of lieutenant governor, I think he would pave his way to the governor's office, which is, I think is his ultimate goal. Um, but as far as it goes right now, no, I don't think that this is appropriate. I don't think it's appropriate to be using this office as a stepping stone or a waiting room. Now, you're a courtroom attorney, as I mentioned earlier. How important is it to have that sort of courtroom experience for the role of AG? Well, I want to be able to work together with the deputy AGs in that office. They have a hard enough job um, as it is. Um, and my view of it is being in the trenches with them will allow me the, uh, the ability to, to, to talk to people smartly about what we're doing, what's working, what's not working, and to push for more resources for that office. If there's, if there's a resource need, I want to know about it. I want to be on the front lines and actually know about it, Shirley. So it's really important for me. Uh, we keep hearing career politician. And it's almost a dirty phrase now at this point. What makes a career politician? You know, how many terms does it make a career politician? I don't know if it takes a certain number of terms, but right now, from what I've been seeing, um, I think my opponent, Mr. Den, fits that uh, classification. Uh, you know, he's he's three terms in now. Um, he's he's. Uh, Really, that's, that really is his, his career tra trajectory. And my view of it is that um, I'm a small business owner. I own my own law firm in the city of Wilmington. Um, I've taken a personal hit financially by doing this race. Uh, I'm doing this for the fact that I, I really believe that the citizens of Delaware need that choice and, and, and an end to the one party rule. Okay, well, Ted Kittala, thank you so much for being here today. I do want to mention that Lieutenant Governor Matt Den will be here. Again, he is running for AG for the Democrats. He'll be here next week. Uh